So right after Elon Musk's big announcement for Doge, we are now seeing that Robinhood has got something massive for Doge holders. And this is what I'm going to talk about in this video. But before we move forward, I'd like to remind you that we're giving away $100 to a random subscriber at the end of this month. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck! So Robinhood has just announced that they have partnered with Cove Markets, which is an API platform that enables crypto users to trade across multiple exchanges and manage aggregate financial data. And with this partnership, crypto traders and investors on Robinhood will be able to use Cove Markets to trade over 50 major cryptos by connecting to up to seven exchanges, including Coinbase Pro, Kraken, and Bitfinex. And this is a big partnership since it will improve the current infrastructure of Robinhood, eventually enhancing their trading volume. So this is important for Doge because we already know that Doge currently accounts for more than half of Robinhood's crypto trading volume. In fact, it was due to Doge that Robinhood was able to increase its revenue by 4 to 5 fold in quarter 2 this year. So the point is that it is due to Dogecoin's massive trading volume on Robinhood that the firm was able to generate more revenue. And this can further be proved by the fact that Robinhood's revenue in quarter 3 this year fell by 78% when they put some limitations on Dogecoin trading. But as of now, Robinhood has no limitations on Doge trading because they have realized its worth. And as Robinhood is now going to enhance its trading volume with this new partnership with Cove Markets, it is highly likely that Dogecoin's trading will also increase on the trading platform. And this becomes more important and beneficial for Doge since we know that Binance's Dogecoin withdrawals are still not working properly, and holders are still facing trouble on Binance. The thing is that when a user tries to withdraw their Doge on Binance, it appears active apparently. But if a withdrawal is above a certain amount, they are very likely to be rejected. And as I have highlighted it before, this is a major issue for Doge and its holders. This is because this issue has been going on for over one month now. And it appears that this issue can be detrimental to Dogecoin's price. So the point is that now Doge holders will move to Robinhood owing to their enhanced infrastructure and easy access. And eventually, this will enhance Dogecoin's trading volume, also improving it in terms of value. And another important thing is that Cove Markets will help Robinhood to build an even better crypto platform for all of their crypto traders. And as we know that Robinhood has been working on their wallets and testing it with Doge owing to its lower transaction fees, Cove Markets will also help Robinhood in this initiative. All in all, Robinhood's new partnership with Cove Markets is surely going to benefit Doge, and it will definitely give a massive boost to it in terms of value. And now let's come to Bitcoin for a minute. So it appears that Bitcoin is back in fashion for regular investors at the 48k price level as data confirms the biggest buying spree since March 2020. We saw that after crashing to $3,500 in March 2020, Bitcoin was a hot pick for those able and willing to invest. And now that phenomenon is back. And according to crypto analyst Willy Wu, retail traders are buying up Bitcoin's current market correction as quickly as they did during the pandemic-induced crash last year. The changes in balances for wallets holding 1 BTC or less, typically suggesting small-scale investors, have reached their highest since March 2020. And it indicates that interest is surging in Bitcoin, and this will eventually lead to a major price rally for it. And the reason investors are flocking to Bitcoin is that we know that it acts as a solid hedge against growing inflation. And as we now know that inflation in the United States has risen to 6.8%, shattering prior records, traditional financial markets are in the bearish phase. So this is why more and more investors are turning to Bitcoin. And now if we come to Bitcoin's price analysis, it is now trading in the green. This is not a massive gain, but it has gained support around the 47k mark. And it is a good signal for Bitcoin. And now it is eyeing to clear resistance around the 49k and 51k levels. It will essentially be hard to clear it, but since investors are rushing into Bitcoin, it is very much achievable. And if Bitcoin manages to do so, we will surely see it go somewhere around 55k by the end of December. And since Bitcoin is now looking good, we can hope that Dogecoin will also perform better in the future. This is because its price correlation with Bitcoin is on the high side.
It is currently sitting at 0.96, which is by far the highest in the crypto market right now, so this is a major bullish indicator for Doge. And I have been mentioning it in my videos recently owing to the fact that this is important on chain data, and I think we should keep a close eye on it. And this is why I'm so excited for Doge. Now as things are mostly looking good for Doge and other cryptos, there is some bad news as well. For example, Bank of England's Deputy Governor for Financial Stability, Sir John Cunliffe, has recently warned that the price of cryptos, including Bitcoin, is going to fall to zero. He believes that cryptos have been expanding at a breakneck pace and are gaining widespread acceptance. And at this rate of growth, they can turn out to be a big failure in the future. Moreover, he believes that cryptos constitute a threat to the traditional financial system, and they must be closely watched to limit this threat. And similarly, the CEO of investment management firm Richard Bernstein Advisors has warned that cryptos are the biggest financial bubble in history, and he advised investors to stay away from them. He believes that investors should turn to other investment products that are related to energy and gold since cryptos are going to turn out the biggest bubble in history. So now seeing these two reports, I think that such comments definitely raise some concerns over the crypto market but I don't think that they will leave a huge impact on the market and crypto prices. Moreover, the crypto sector has matured over time, so I don't think that it is going to become a bubble. And I think that saying something like crypto is going to be zero in value is just an exaggeration and nothing else. And I think crypto holders should not be worried about such comments. This is because a majority of prominent investors and financial advisors are backing the industry while seeing a huge potential for it. Prominent investor Kathy Wood is seeing a huge potential in the crypto market, particularly Bitcoin. We know that she has recently predicted that major investors are now showing great interest in Bitcoin, and once they start rushing towards it, Bitcoin will grow dramatically in value, and it can even hit the 500k price level. Similarly, US Senator Morgan Harper is seeing a lot of potential in Bitcoin. She recently said that she is intrigued by the decentralized nature of Bitcoin, where people can have the benefits of network effects without concentrating power in the hands of a few people or corporations. She believes that Bitcoin can help create economic power and freedom for individuals so that they can be less reliant on outsized corporations. So the point is that more and more prominent people are now realizing the value of cryptos. And as they are now endorsing cryptos, I see massive crypto adoption in the future. In fact, we are already seeing this. For example, it is now confirmed that the National Unity Government of Myanmar has successfully approved Tether as a legal dollar proxy for domestic transactions. And as per reports, the government has planned to use Tether just like the American dollar, but in a manner that will hedge against inflation, censorship, and control of the new governments. In addition, they want to use it for domestic transactions to make it easy and speed up current trade services and payment systems. So this is a huge update for the crypto space, and we already know that El Salvador has also adopted Bitcoin as a legal tender. So I think we are going to see more and more countries adopting cryptos as a legal tender. And now coming back to Dogecoin, we are now seeing that Dogecoin's large transactions have jumped as much as 148% in the last 24 hours. For those who don't know, large transactions monitored by Into the Block refer to on-chain transactions greater than $100,000. So this is an indication of positive institutional activity and whales buying activity for Dogecoin. And the point is that the 148% increase seen over the last 24 hours for Dogecoin is indicating an enormous number of whales buying Doge. And I think this has been made possible after Elon Musk's recent announcement, which led Doge towards a 25% price increase. And now if we come to Dogecoin's price, it has come down to the 17 cents price level. And this was very much expected. In fact, I have stated in my previous videos that Dogecoin will again see a price correction after this major surge. This is because Doge is not expected to gain massively at this moment. And as I've stated before, it is going through an extended price correction. But the good thing is that Doge is eyeing long-term gains. This means that it will witness massive traction during the first half of 2022. In any case, what are your thoughts on this? Do you expect Doge to rise from here? Let me know in the comments section below.